number three then from the second paper of the 2016 new high up a 10 mark question fairly straightforward the first part your usual show this is a factor fully factorized the second part area under a curve so what's the first bit show that x plus one is a factor of this well that'll be your synthetic division then so let's pop in these coefficients 2, negative 9, 3 and 14, they're all present, so there's no zeros to fill in. And if you're checking that, I've already forgotten, x plus 1 is a factor, you're going to feed negative 1 into it. I'm sure that would be the first mark. Feeding it through, that's going to go up to negative 2, add to negative 11, multiply to positive 11, add to 14, multiply to negative 14, add to give 0, then your statement. The remainder equals 0. That means that x plus 1 is a factor. And so part 2, hence solve this equation. The equation involving exactly the same expression. The way you solve that equation is by factorising and you've already started. x plus 1 is a factor, you know, and there's the remaining factor. 2x squared minus 11x plus 14. So now it's just a case of Let's factorise this one, presuming, of course, that it does factorise nicely and I don't have to resort to the formula. Well, it must be 2x and x. Now, 14, multiply to give 14 and add to give 11, once one of them's doubled. Which one could you double to make it 11? You could double the 2. So the 2 must multiply the 2, that must be the 7. The negative goes to the large, but that says they're both the same anyway. So that's that part done. So now the solution is, and I'll just, I think I'll rearrange it into numerical order x equals negative 1, x equals, that's 3.5, so x equals 2, and x equals either 3.5 or 7 up and 2, 7 up and 2. That was all right. Now part b. This diagram shows the graph with that same equation, cutting the axis at these three points. Write down, for one mark, the coordinates of a and b, and you know what they are anyway. Those must be the first two out of the three solutions you had in the part A. So straight away I can say A must be the point negative 1, 0, and B must be the point 2, 0. So what's the shaded area then? Well, the shaded area must go from negative 1 to 2 of this whole thing, unfortunately. If I left myself enough room. 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 3x plus 14 dx. So integrating that up to 4, divide by 4, but I'll just do that at the same time, 2 over 4 is a half. Up to 3, divide by 3, 3 into 9 goes 3. Up to 2, divide by 2, well it doesn't, so I'll just stop with that. And that just becomes 14x. And that gets evaluated from negative 1 to 2. Now the 4 marks will be quite clear here. There'll be 1 mark for creating this integral for the area. There'll be one mark for integrating, there'll be one mark for substituting, and there'll be one mark for the answer. So now it's the boring bit, the big long substitution, putting two in. So it'll be two to the power four, two to the power three, two to the power two, and just two. And then, boom, same again, only with negative ones. And finally, 14 times negative 1. And I forgot that little square there. Now it's just evaluate it. Yes, you could just type it in your calculator, but I'll just do it. So what have I got? That'll knock out, knock out one of them, so I'll 2 to the 3, so that's 8. That's 8 over, th that's 3 times 8, which is 24. And that's going to knock out one of them, leaving 2, which is a 6, and that's a plus 28. Then, that's positive 1, so it's a half. That's negative, negative, so it's plus 3. That's going to be positive as well, so it's plus 3 up and 2, they match. And then minus 14. So for this part, that gives me 4, 6, 18. That gives me 2, 5, take away 9. Sorry, take away 14 is negative 9, so I'll end up as plus 9, which means I've got 27 square units for the area.